no coffee, no worky. Mm. Extra this coffee, I love it, I love it, I love it. So I'm sitting here in Germany and it's uh, cloudy outside, it's slightly raining, it's dark outside. So I'm here, I'm sitting here like in a dark room and we will talk about a dark room very soon. Because today I will talk about the Polish man in the French Foreign Legion as it exists until 1950. And there was a Polish man, the legionaries called Kukuk. And Kukuk, they did Kukuk when it comes to the Andershina War, Vietnam War. And uh, Kukuk was a, a very special uh, punishment because it was punishment and challenge at the same time, you know. So, how does it work Kukuk? Easy. Two legionnaires, each of them armed with one weapon, a revolver. So you see a revolver, not a pistol, revolver, the barrel. And in the barrel, one bullet, one bullet. Then they have to go into a room it was a dark room and when the door was closed when the officers closed the door it was really dark inside so the superficie was about 25 square meters huh? five meters long five meters large dark room one revolver one bullet everybody and then one has to start and he has to scream cuckoo and the other one has to throw the, pist the pistol not the pistol the revolver direction where he heard cuckoo and boom yeah, and pull the trigger once maybe the bullet flies out maybe nothing came out and then the next one was the next one's turn cuckoo throw the revolver pull the trigger boom and this until the game was played until one of the legionnaires was dead it was badly wounded and then only then it was game over <laughs> so cuckoo was a punishment or kind of challenge in the French for Legion until 1950. But I heard about a lot of challenges in the French for Legion, a lot of a lot of punishment in the French for Legion, and I talked with nobody who could confirm that he ever did cuckoo. Yeah? So maybe it was a mythen, a mythos, a mythos. Maybe it was a lie. Maybe it was true. You to make the deal. You to make the difference. I don't know. <laughs> but cuckoo, I like cuckoo. I love cuckoo. <laughs> so the next one was the tombo. The tombo it was very hard. The tombo was applied until 1949 and 1950, and this is confirmed. I talked with legionnaires who did the tombo, and the tombo was has been done most of the time in African countries, uh, like in Algeria, until 1950. As you know better than I do, the French Foreign Legion has uh, his headquarters in Algeria until 1962 after the Algerian war. So the tombo, two versions. The first version was the legionnaire has to dig a hole until here, until his coup, you know, until his neck. So he was in the hole in an upright position. Then his comrade had to fill the hole with sand. But the left hand was besides the corpse of the legionnaire, so in the hole, and the right hand was in the air. And when the hole was filled with sand, the legionnaire has to put his arm on the sand just in front of him. So the head was here, the arm was here, and then the officers put a cup of water, a cup of water just in front of him. So he could hardly reach, not even reach the, the, the water cup. This was missing, so like this one, like this. Like this. Uh, so, and he has to stay in the hole, in the tombo, the whole day, even under 50 degrees Celsius. And he had to see with his eyes the water bowl, the, or the, 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 the cup with water. And his hand was almost reaching, reaching, but not, this was missing. And this was kind of torture, no? This kind of torture, the tombo. The second, the second version of the tombo was that, and this I knew. I knew because a legionnaire told me about this. The legionnaire has to dig kind of grave. He had to get himself lying in the grave huh? on his back. The comrades filled up the tombo with sand. So the only he was lying there, lying. And the only thing who was out of the sand was his face. Huh? And then they put kind of gitun over him, 
at self planet was what well, means at tent and then even under 50 or 60 degrees he was to lie the whole day in his tombo and they didn't give them some give him, uh, they didn't give him something to eat they didn't give him something to drink the tombo uh, by the way here i'm wearing the chemise gao and the chemise gao in my time, when I was in the French for a little from uh, in the years between 1985 and 2002, was what the, the told the Bruder, you know, the prisoners has to, of the legion has to wear every day, every day. So now we are coming to the next one. It's called La Belote. <laughs> La Belote is after after coffee. No coffee in working, by the way. Hmm. Uh, Always great. I love this coffee. It's coming from Peru. I love Peru for this great coffee. Um, by the way, if you want to support me and my channel, uh, just go in the description of my video. You will find a link. It's my merch link. If you want to uh, click on it, choose one or three pieces. Now uh, you'll have a mug like this or t-shirts and everything. And so you, it's the best way to support Thomas Gath and his channel. Thank you for this. Okay, let's come to the pelot now. The pelot is easy. The pelot is, uh, you have kind of barbed wire. And the barbed wire was about high like your knees. Yeah? It was maybe two meters large and 25 meters long barbed wire. And under the barbed wire, there was mud, really mud, like this. And you have maybe between the barbed wire and uh, the ground, you had about, yeah, 30 centimeter, 40 centimeters, not more, until the knees. And then the legionnaire, uh, the Polish legionnaire has to, to rump, to crawl under the barbed wire once, twice, three times, four times, five. And everybody was standing outside and were laughing at him. It was the la belote. So it was not very hard. But when you did it 10 times, 15 times, you know what you have done and you have been punished, by the way. And if you, if you dare, if you dared to ha make a hole in your... In your tr in your trousers or in your, in your in your shirt, then you have to go back, do the tombo, punishment French foreign legion. Thank you for your attention. Amitié légionnaire, yours Thomas Gad. Bye bye. <laughs> no coffee, no worky. Oh, by the way, I forget. And this is the last one. Uh, was told to me by uh, comrade. Uh, Klaus Dieter Eckert, who was in the French for Legion himself in the years between 60 and uh, 65. And the punishment was uh, the legionnaire punished, had to climb the roof of his company, stand there in standstill in Gardevoir. And every 10 seconds he has to scream, I'm the biggest fool of the company. I'm the company's fool. Je suis le plus grand idiot de la compagnie. <laughs> Crazy. Turning round, 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 following my feelings crazy. Now row bound, searching brothers in arms. Turning round, 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 following my feelings crazy. Now row bound, here we are, here you are, here I am moving towards invincibility. Searching for a no man's land, fighting, praying, celebrating victory. Turning round, 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 do it with real sound. Following my spirits crazy, now row bound, now row bound, now row bound.